All right. Let's do this. Posting's done, so let's just jump straight into the game with some gameplay because we're in a game that we're going to play. And uh, when you play the game, there is some gameplay. And apparently some people like watching my gameplay. I don't know why, but yeah, whatever. It's okay. I, ju I don't ask. I just... I just do it. I just let it happen. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Mobius Y here. Time of recording this. Um, Friday, April 9th. Uh, yeah. Oh, sure. Thank goodness for the weekend. Week wasn't too difficult, but... Uh, Certainly wasn't fun. All right, back in the Lithoids stream game. While this is loading up, we'll start with the sellout crap. I can't get chat on my phone. What the hell? Oh, there we go. There's already a bunch of people here. And <laughs> you guys. Anyways, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below how you think we're doing in this game. If you're enjoying Lithoids, uh, if you uh, are new to the game, let me know. What have you? You can call me a piece of shit in the comments below. Doesn't matter to me. Go for it. Just leave a comment and give a thumbs up. It helps me out. Let's fight the algorithm together. The uh, Prothoran algorithm scourge. Eh, maybe just the algorithm scourge? Eh, sure. Whatever. Anyways, uh, if you'd like to see some, some more of my content, uh, either for Solaris Console Edition or just for my uploads, uh, do consider subscribing to the channel. The goal for 2021, 20, the goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of December. It's a pretty tall order, but I think we can do it together. And the best things you can do to help out are, of course, subscribe yourself and share this content with anybody who you think might enjoy watching it. If you have any friends or colleagues that also play Stellaris Console Edition or are interested in it, send them my way, and I will try to do my very best to uh, give them a good impression of this game. So hopefully they'll join us on the road to 10K. And don't forget to uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't, talking is hard tonight for some reason. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for the official Stellaris Discord, where you can become part of the Greater Stellaris community. So if you want to be a part, uh, if you want to be involved with a very large, very active Discord channel where there's a big section for us console edition players to talk about the game, discuss strategies, ask questions, and even set up multiplayer matches, the official Stellaris Discord is the place to be. That will be the uh, first link down in the description below and after that the following links are all for my personal stuff You'll find one for my twitch channel where I streamed this off of give me a follow there pop in and see what I am streaming currently streaming Four times a week on Mondays Tuesdays Thursdays and Fridays at 7 o'clock mountain time. That's my local time So uh, I think that's 9 o'clock Eastern time 6 o'clock Pacific time uh, 2 p.m. New Zealand time <laughs> Uh, so come on over and see what I'm playing. I do stream Stellaris Console Edition these days tw at least twice a week. Uh, as well as some other games. Maybe I'll interest you in a different game. Or maybe you'll be entertained for the evening watching me play uh, something else. Hopefully I'll see you there. Uh, you'll also find a link to my Twitter feed. Give me a follow uh, on my Twitter. Uh, as I post important announcements there all the time. And it's a great way to keep in touch with me. Last but not least... Um, or sorry, uh, the Twitter is also a really good alternative for being notified whenever I go live with a stream uh, because I'm getting uh, comments from some people uh, both in the Discord and on my videos that uh, the they don't get a proper notification on Twitch whenever I go live. Uh, and I have said this before, but following me on Twitter is a good way to get those notifications it's as, as an alternative because I do post on my Twitter whenever I am live streaming. And finally, finally, last but not least, there is a link to my own personal Discord channel for fans of my content to freely join. Uh, you can pop in and talk about Stellaris Console Edition, as most everybody there joined because of my Stellaris content, or really just whatever's on your mind. If you just want to hang out and uh, talk about the food you ate today or talk about your mutual dislike of me, doesn't matter. We got channels for you to discuss all of that. Uh, but it, as I said before, it is a good place to uh, talk about the game with uh, in, in a smaller, less active community. Uh, so, but if you still want to discuss with other people uh, the joys of Stellaris Console Edition, that's a good place to be. And you can take part in the little community events that we have going on. Uh, the uh, long-standing thing that goes on throughout the rest of the year is that uh, viewers just like you get to submit clips of their favorite moments from my videos or my streams, which I put together in a compilation video that will be live and public at the start of next year as I kind of 
Moby's best moments of 2021, as chosen by you, the viewer. And there will be a viewer poll that goes up sometime in mid-April here, where I post a list of all the games that I think would be fun to stream and fun for you guys to watch uh, off of my Xbox and my PlayStation libraries. You guys vote on which games sound neat, and whichever ones get the most, the, get the most votes, I stream those. It's that simple. So if you want to take part in those, uh, my personal Discord is the place to be. All of those links are down in the description below. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you there. And uh, yeah, by the end of the year, I do hope that uh, we'll be celebrating uh, 10,000 subs as well. Anyways, let's uh, let's move on. I missed a lot in chat. First, second, third, fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Naughty Dog, Razor, Awesome Sheet, Darby. What's going on, guys? I forgot. Are we currently dying? No, we're okay this time, actually. Harshly TV. Been a while since I've been on, as always. Yeah, it's all good, buddy. Semper Buffo. What's up, buddy? Uh, now nah, the bug saved the rocks. Yep. <laughs> you can try. Just barely last episode, Mommy almost learned you can't put the shit back into the donkey, but he wound up winning the war. Um, actually, I got a, I got a really cool comment from uh, one of the one of the viewers on YouTube that explained what happened. So the obsidian flashers that uh, were supposedly destroyed in the previous alternate dimension that they originated from actually survived their ordeal and managed to rebuild a small empire in which they unlocked their psionic potential. And their psionic powers were so strong that they were able to psychically reach through the fabric of space and time into this new dimension and plug the enemy's weapons with their psychic fingers so that they could not shoot back during the war. And that's why we were able to decimate them because their weapons uh their their weapons uh, barrels were plugged by obsidian flasher psychic fingers or tendrils tentacles whatever you want to call them uh making them incapable of firing back during the battle uh i thought that was a fantastic explanation and uh kudos to whoever said that i i, I apologize for not remembering your username right now but i think that was uh, a perfect explanation and it's 100 percent too it's 100 percent true it is now canon <laughs> Uh, or you're forever alone. We love you, Moby. We just don't like you. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I don't like me either. <laughs> Source, just trust me, bro. You can try to join the greatest Dolores community. Requires chops, I guess. Ooh, pork chops? I like pork chops. Pork chops was my breakfast um, this morning. Well, quote-unquote breakfast. I eat, uh, I eat a plate of meat, like, really early when I'm at work. So it's kind of like breakfast, but... I have oatmeal before I even go to work. All right, let's continue. Uh, we still have energy credits going down the toilet. That's not good. Uh, trying to rectify that with stuff. Uh, reactor districts, obviously. Okay, what's up, yo? Uh, somebody suggested that uh, we already have a bro habitat. We need we need a bro. Habitat. Somebody suggested that on a YouTube comment, and I was like, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that, so we're going to do that. First chance we get. Check out our growth speed. 6.25 a month. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Considering we have all these growth points. Alright, that's enough of that. Um, okay, what are we going to do? Go away. Uh, final two ascension perks. Oh yeah, we still need galactic wonders, don't we? We do. Damn. Uh, aren't we building a science nexus somewhere? All right, we got Flash Coolant Five. Let's get uh, let's, let's get some copies of Applied Superconductivity, shall we? Uh, uh oh. Make a bra moment, Fortress Habitat. There you go. Um, damn, I don't know what to do. Uh, did, did we not have a science nexus? I could have sworn we had a science nexus under construction somewhere. Let's take a look. See civilian ships. What are you doing? Oh yeah, you're there. It is. There's the science nexus site. Um, yeah, you're right. Uh, we just started that in the last stream. I remember now. Um, Moby's excited. Run. Ah, oh, dude, I'm easily excited. Uh, especially when I'm sugar high, and I'm, I might be just a little bit right now because I did have a few Jolly Ranchers when I got home. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, but da, 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 this is not upgraded. We don't have very many alloys though. One, one forty-seven. 
alloys per month. That's awful. Uh, so we can't do an Aki Monopolis. We can't do Hive Worlds for whatever bloody reason. Maybe it's because we're a Lithoid Hive Mind. I think that's it. Damn near had to use the frying pan tonight. JB. I keep telling you. Chloroform. What do we got here? The consumption of Wegri yields alloys for the swarm. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, consume this world again, shall we? And consumption of Bakangi yields bodies for the swarm. All right. So that means that we got some... Oh, can we not consume the world again? Ooh. Number of available districts is greater than zero. Okay. Well, uh... Demolish, demolish. There we go. Hey, that's more like it. And now we can consume world. Boop. Ha 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 ha. Um, yeah. Sleep. You know, uh, I actually watch um, Viva La Dirt League's D&D uh, &D channel, and there's there's a running joke that their their rogue took the sleep spell, and every now and then when stuff's just not going well for them, or they just you know, they just need somebody to shut up, he'll he'll jokingly like fling his hand out on the table and just be like sleep. <laughs> It's kind of amusing. I don't normally watch people playing like board games and stuff like that, or like D and D or any of that kind of crap. But now and then, I, I get into something. I, I like the v, uh, I like the Viva La Dirt League, NPC D and D. It's pretty entertaining. Mo is eating Jolly Ranchers and not Smarties. Doesn't that break some Canadian trees and laws? No, Jolly Ranchers are fucking delicious, man. I've always loved them. I still remember when Jolly Ranchers came in a little, uh, a little wrapper. Kind of like uh, Starburst, and they were little square candies. I don't know whatever happened to that. But they were still good back then. Uh, okay, I'm just... No, it's fine to eat foreign snacks on odd-numbered days. Oh, yeah. Good NZYT channel. There you are. Yeah? Yeah, I, fi I figured you'd know about them, uh, Darby, because, yeah, they, exactly like you said, they're a New Zealand channel. That'd be funny as hell to just be, like, wandering around somewhere in New Zealand and then, like, bump into them and you're like, oh, shit, they're filming. Let's just uh, get out of the way here. <laughs> be kind of awkward, but, eh. Corners were probably too sharp. Oh, yeah. It's possible. They didn't want they didn't want to get sued by somebody uh, hurting themselves eating their square candy because their candy was too square, right? Yeah. I still don't know what the hell we want to take here. Could get the Colossus project, but I want to get some repeatables first. Elk, what's up? New Zealand's not that small. No, I know. Uh, let's see here. Where do we resettle? Well, let's resettle you to dude. How's that? There's five open jobs there, apparently. You know what else isn't very small, and uh, people seem to think that it's massive, is Greenland. Um, it's easy to think that Greenland is actually, like, huge, because on a regular flat map, it looks huge. And... Uh, browsing the internet, I've come across the question a couple times where it's just like, hey, uh, how come Greenland isn't a continent if it's so big? And it's like, y you're mistaken. It's not that big. It's just the way the maps are done that it really distorts it, and makes it look like it's huge when it's not. And then you look at it, and you, then you look at like an actual globe or even Google Maps, and it's pretty tiny. <laughs> LOTR lives there, yeah. New Zealand's not that small. Me laughs in the United States. <laughs> New Zealand's not that small. Me laughs in Baffin Island. <laughs>, laughs in Africa. Um. Okay, hang on. Let me sell some stuff. Boop. There we go. I just remember. I just remember reading something about uh, how a kid came home from school one time and uh, his dad asked him, like, he, his dad asked him for his report, he came home with his report card or some shit and his dad asked him how he did in, in, in school and stuff and he's like, well, I failed this class or something such and then his dad, 
Oh my god, the prime accumulators got destroyed. Okay. That's one of the uh, machine uprisings that occurred uh, to one of these Xeno scum bastards. Um, anyways, uh, apparently the dad said, In Klingon, in actual Klingon, you are a disgrace to the Empire. And the, guy, and the, the, the guy is going, What's more embarrassing, the fact that my dad said that to me in Klingon, or the fact that I know he said that to me and I understood his Klingon? <laughs> Small enough that it doesn't even appear on some mats. Oh, yeah. Country sizes, mer uh, yeah, I don't know how to read that. Mercator, 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 Mercator. Okay, uh, did we clear all the tile blockers for these? It looks like we did. Snap, crackle, pops. Place to drop rocks for pops. Pops be popping. Um, Doctor Popper. <laughs> That'd be a good one. That's okay. We'll just wait for those. I need to figure out where the hell I'm going to send these uh, new pops because we're getting, uh, what, 24 of them? Yeah, that's quite a bit. Definitely not sending them to Meteor Mash, that's for sure. Guy, mining station. Um, not going here either. I guess I should do a uh, mineral purification plant here. And a chemical plant. And eh, maybe a hive horn. Uh, we'll just leave it alone. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So those are not habitats or anything like that. They're all pop growth colonies, so we're cool. My God, we are losing energy like mad. Uh, I'm not. I don't think I'm. I'm not gonna be able to float this economy. Why am I getting 35 food again? Oh yeah, because we're purging those pops over there. Let's sell those and sell about another hundred. And sell 50 of you and then sell you. So New Zealand equals California. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a decent size. California is not very small, but in the grand scheme of things, seeing uh, like I'm from Canada, it takes like what five, six months to go, to go from month. Holy shit, months. Uh, east to west, you know, through through the prairies and whatnot, it takes a good six to twelve hours to get into a new province or something like that. So some states are just freaking tiny. I remember I I'd, I'd get into conversations with some uh, buddies that I would that I'd be playing games online with. All the time, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, it's it's like yeah, where I gotta go for this stuff? It's really far. That's like a four-hour drive." And I'm like, "How many states are you crossing for that?" Well, I'm well, I gotta go from where the state I live in, and then gotta go to the, gotta go through this whole state, like Connecticut or some bullshit, and then we'll be in whatever the other state is or some such nonsense. And it's like, dude, that's the three-hour drive is fucking nothing. <laughs> Uh, can't consume world here anymore because you have no more um, available districts. So we're going to resettle this guy over here to dude. Boop. See ya. We lost the planet now. That's okay. And I'm pretty sure dude is going to be in energy. No, it's not. Shit. Um, I need to find... Can we change these? Uh, we can, but... Where are the ones the where are the energy stations? Not that one. That one. There you go. Habitat. Uh does nothing. Uh generator station. Uh research station. Okay. Fortress foundry refinery. Okay. And uh, let's change it to a generator station. There we go. And let's go ahead. It's still building some reactor districts, so that's a good sign. Uh We'll, uh... Okay, so there's two more. We'll, we'll queue up the rest. That ought to do it. Try living the nightmare that is driving across Texas. <laughs> Why? Where? So that my tires are melting off of uh, my car? No thanks. I'll pass. I'm staying far away from Texas because that is a place where, pe where dumb people like me go to die. 
Uh, I'm doing really something really dumb by buying frickin' minerals. Can you believe that crap? Alright. That's it. One habitation district and one, two, three, four more reactor districts. I think that's all I can do. Okay, so sup and yo. These are the generator stations. I need to move pops there. Alright, uh, Meteor Mash. We're gonna start with you. You are sending guys to yo. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, there goes Meteor Mash. Uh, let's go ahead and now do uh, Wegri? Nope, those are undesirables. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do snap. We're gonna do pop rocks. One, two, three, four. And next up, we're moving them to. Where is it? Sup. There we go. And snap, crackle, pops. One, two, three, four. And pops be popping. One, two, three, four. And place to drop rocks for free pops. One, two, three, four. All right, well, the problem with that is we just dumped a bunch of energy, which is not that great. Uh, let's go ahead. I don't have any minerals. Whew. The League of Tabaras just declares us a rival. What is these people's problems? We didn't do a damn thing to you. Get out of here. All right, assembly algorithms. Uh, let's go ahead and take extraction patterns again. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Here in Louisiana, we have the world's largest zoo. We call it Texas. <laughs> we call ours America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How would you recommend starting this game? Looks intimidating. Um, Fat Jeff, honestly, I'd say just uh, pick a preset empire like the United Nations of Earth or something like that, and then go with a um, go with a small galaxy with like maybe one or two AI empires, uh, one fallen empire. And then most everything else just default. That should be, that should be fine, or even increase the time that the mid game starts and, and the late game starts because the default for the mid game to start is the year 2300, and the late game de default start is 2400. Bump those up by about 50 or so years each, and just to give you more time with familiarizing yourself with the technologies and the and the uh, the mechanics and all that stuff. But yeah, it's it's a it's a serious learning curve. Don't get me wrong. One day we'll deliver freedom to you. Don't worry, <laughs> I will not be home that day. RC guy, what's up, man? Haven't seen you in a while. Did you hear about a patch update on console? Yes, we all knew about it. I actually posted it in the Discord. Um, okay, let's upgrade this to a Habitat Central Control. And then we're definitely going to want an energy grid. And on both of these worlds. So let's start with that. And then we'll get exotic gas refineries because those will be for the upgraded energy grids. Well, wait, what a good way to play... What's a good way to play hives? Um, that's... I don't know, man. That's tough. Oh, that took a while. All right. Uh, did I queue up an exotic gas refinery? Yes. Um... Like what? Uh, like you mean uh, civics and all and traits and all that stuff? Is that what you're referring to? I'm assuming that's what you're referring to. Um, whew, I I don't know. Feel like you're well suited to hives for some reason. Honestly, hive minds are like my least played. Uh, between machine empires, um, well, actually that's not true. Mega corporations. I've only played one mega corporation, and that was live on stream. Um. I don't know. I think uh, no. Moby gives us hives. Uh, that sounds more like a you problem, dude. <laughs> Have you told your doctor about that? Um, let's go and move you here. That'll work. Plant superconductivity. Let's get level two. Okay, we're our energy is getting better because we're getting. Um, reactor districts to appear. Now we have a bunch of technician drones in these habitats, which is good. That's what we want to see. Amenities are already a problem, though. That's why we're getting some habitation districts coming in. Uh, this one's fine. You got two habitation districts, right? Yeah, so you can get another reactor district, even. Or can you? Oh, no, not anymore. I just built it. 
It takes a day to drive from one side of Ontario to the other. Yep. Are you excited for the for the Dick stream tomorrow? Um, I'm probably not gonna have time to watch it. Uh, I need to like get going on making some um, some 2.6 Stellaris videos, as well as there's a couple other things that I've kind of had on the back burner for a bit now. I need to buckle up and actually fucking do them, honestly. Um, okay, we should have enough minerals to go ahead and uh, smash more rocks into these uh, worlds. So let's go ahead and colonize. Low habitability. Yep, don't care. Do what I say. Um, honestly, um, Razor, I think that um, things that lower uh, housing usage um, for hive mind pops is actually a really good way to go because... Uh, hive mines get an extra job per district uh, compared to regular organic empires, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it just it just skews the housing to job ratio when you are um, constructing districts on your colonies and whatnot. So I think uh, the communal trait is quite good. I don't think there's a civic that reduces housing, but uh, I do believe there is... Uh, isn't there a... Uh, let's see. Leader upkeep, ship build, speed leader lifespan. No, that's not it. Uh, pop mineral consumption reduced. Oh, that's not... Oh, yeah, because we're a lithoid, so that won't do anything. Uh, like, uh, adopting the ad adaptability tradition reduces pop housing usage by a, a further 10%. Um, and then, of course, um, doing the genetic mastery would allow you to do some gene modding. And you could do social pheromones. That was random dumb luck. So with the gene modding, you can add in communal as well. Um, shit, what else is there? Anyways, that's just like one minor thing uh, to worry about. Uh, another thing, I can't, I can't sell those fucking consumer goods that we have. That sucks. Uh, a lot of effort went into it. No, I, I, I know, buddy. RC guy, we'll see you later, man. Uh, hopefully I'll see you for another stream next week, buddy. I'm going to try and watch it. If you're an organic agrarian, can be nice. I hope you pop in for a bit at some point. Um, I might. I'll, I'll try to because I really want to check up on um, Door Monster and Stefan and on as well as uh, see what A-Spec is doing uh, during, during the stream. But, yeah, it looks like... A, I mean, they clearly did a shitload of preparation for it because the little... The little trailer videos that they've made are, are super cool. And, of course, uh, pretty much everybody who's playing and participating in it uh, added their voice to um, to those trailers, which is really, really cool. I doubt it'll happen, but it would be cool if we could see some, some kind of multiplayer event um, between... Uh, some Stellaris console edition players and Paradox sometime in the future. But that'll be a lot more difficult because you can only have uh, like four people, even if somebody is observing in the console edition uh, right now. So we'll see. Um, let's see here. Got some unemployment, but we got reactor districts coming in, so that's fine. They're working on it. Can we... No, we can't. Okay. Uh, wasn't there a world where I could still... Oh, Electric Booga Rock. We could do Planetary Prospecting. But that costs 500 energy. I don't want to do that. Uh, how are we doing on this friggin' Science Nexus, yo? 64% complete. Uh, can I activate... Uh, we have 63,000 unity. Why did I... Not... Oh, wait. Did I not activate Architectural Renaissance? No. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Will to Power, Omniferous Acquisition, Architectural Renaissance, Scientific Revolution, Defo Netly. What else? Uh, Man in Action, Focusing Crystals, blah, 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 blah. Uh, production Targets is on. Capacity Overload is not. I need to activate that as soon as I can, though. That's 300 influence. Yikes. It's okay, we're getting there. Uh, we're actually getting close to our admin cap, too. I just noticed that. All of them. Um, well, actually, Razor, what I meant to ask, too, is... Uh, did you Were you asking about playing as a regular hive mind or playing as, like, a uh, devouring swarm as well? 
Ambition, Desperate Measures, and fork Fortress Proclamation actually just ran out. Ship build speed in a defensive war and home territory fire rate. Um, I'm going to leave those alone. Also, like uh, uh, an, an organic hive mind, a lithoid hive mind, a devouring swarm hive mind. Uh, you know, just uh, hit me up with a couple more specifics and I'll try to think of something on the fly. Regular hive, ever had any like role play hives? Um, well, obviously, a, a tree of life hive, uh, or sorry, a tree of life origin hive mind would be a, a fun thing to do because you do have to actually use that uh, create tree of life sprout kind of bullshit. <laughs> that is something you will ha you would have to take care of, but I'm pretty sure you get some uh, bonuses from... Uh... Okay, so we got this done. Let's see, population. The remaining population is all undesirables that we are purging. Alright. Do you? It did it for me in my game. Um... I like the idea of, like, an aggressive hive that isn't a swarm. Um, I, I pick a, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Losing the Tree of Life on a planet sucks. Yeah, big time. You get some decent bonuses from it, but if you lose it, whew, it hurts. You feel it. Um, I'd say starting off, you probably want to worry more about your... Um, your food and your energy, I think. I, I don't know why I'm, my brain is telling me that, uh, but that's what my, that's what my instincts are t are uh, leaning towards for whatever reason. Uh, we got another got another ri rivalry just cropped up. Um, well, let's see. Uh, now, provided that this is just an interesting lithoid hive mind bug, obviously you'll do genetic, uh, you'll do biological evolution. Um, take on, uh, take on those habitats as early as possible, so you can uh, not just rely on your uh, colonies for minerals. That'll be a thing. Um, but, uh, ooh, shit, we're out of energy. Uh, I gotta fix that. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Boop. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. What's... Another fun RP thing that you could do for a hive mind is instead of taking Tree of Life, the, uh, the Galactic Doorstep Origin is actually pretty neat. Um, I've actually been using that in, um, my current Iron Man, and some pretty neat stuff happens that makes it, uh, Makes it so that you get a little bit more invested in your uh, empire story by by uh, by a bit. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm doing that one now. Hang on, I'm firing up the Xbox to see what good hive I could throw together for you, Razor. Um, okay, thanks, Naughty Dog. Um, see, the diff the difficulty is without it right in front of me right now. I'm having a difficult. I'm having uh, a lot of trouble remembering what all the civics are and what they do, as well. Uh, because you get you get bonus influence for just being a hive mind, do you not? Hang on a second. Uh, hive mind. Oh, never mind. Increased pop growth speed, reduced empire sprawl penalty. Um, that's another thing you want to double down on when you take like take communal and rapid breeders, and then of course once you do the biological ascension, uh, put fertile on your pops. They'll grow pretty damn fast. Uh, well, not pretty damn fast, but they'll, they'll grow pretty quickly. Um, something else to do. Electric Boogarok. What the hell were we going to do on this world again? Probably just alloy foundries, hey? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Uh, 29. We are getting a lot of amenities, so we'll start with just four alloy foundries. Oops, not five. Just four. Learn to count, Moby. God damn it. Have you killed the Chianku Matriarch? Uh... Not in an Iron Man game. I know what happens. You get that you get that little Ahab ship, and then Captain Ahab is uh, in your empire and can be an admiral. It's kind of it's kind of funny. Um, what the hell do I want to do here? Maybe I'll just do some fortresses, eh? Um, oh, uh, synaptic nodes. 
uh, into Unity and an admin cap. Yeah. I think I'll do a couple synaptic nodes. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll be okay. These guys don't produce amenities, though, do they? Oh, yeah, they, they do. Oh, shit. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. Now, why did I restrict these? Okay, bro needs more pops, big time. Science Nexus Construction. The future is ours. Unfortunately, oh my god. Scum and villainy on rock miners. Okay, deviancy is such a problem on rock miners right now that these sons of bitches. Damn, I'm gonna. I don't like that. 44. How the hell did we get so much deviancy on this world? Okay, well, we're going to have to fix that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, those are all alloy mega forges, so nope, I am not replacing those. We are going to do a sentinel post here. I don't, I don't read much. Oh, you should read, man. There's a lot of good books out there. And I do mean a lot. I've read a lot of good books. I haven't done a lot of reading in the last couple years myself, though, is the problem. Um, well, reading books, I should say. I've been re doing a lot of reading, but it's in fucking Stellaris. <laughs> and uh, Age of Wonders Planetfall. Uh, yeah, I'm dipping in and out uh, quite a lot. On my... Uh, reading but when, when I find a good book and I like it and I really get into it fuck man I lose a lot of sleep I'll be up to like 2am reading and not be the least bit tired but dude make make sure you catch some of the stream yeah I'll drop in man relax I'll do, I'll do my best to be there for <laughs> at least a little while oh I should probably uh, clear these tile blockers eh uh, are they free I can't remember Oh, no, they're not. Oh, shit. Let me change that. Uh, volatile land clearance must have ran out. Hang on. Uh, edicts. Yep, it did. There we go. And meteor mash. Boop, boop. There we go. And pop rocks. Boop, boop. There we go. Pop. Rock place for pops and stuff. Snack crackle pops. Kellogg's lithoid pops. Alright, Kellogg's Lithoid Cereals. <laughs> Should be a good time for you. Uh, yeah. I've been playing The Long Dark after you recommended it. All I have to say is that damn bear. The Long Dark? Uh, who, who recommended that? Uh, yeah, sneaky fucks. Oh! Um, yeah, uh, Razor recommended that. I've heard of uh, that's cool. I've heard of that game. I've never played it myself, so don't. Uh, probably best if I just shut my mouth about it. <laughs> um, I'd say the out of the the games that I played on out of the um, the viewer poll, uh, like late throughout winter here and whatnot, some of the games that I that I streamed, I'd say the best ones that I that I enjoyed the most were. Um, shoot, that's tough. Definitely not Dark Souls. Oh, fuck. Research complete. Uh, uh, dare I say, here we go again? these guys? Yes, they are overwhelming compared to us. No wonder. Overwhelming fleet power. Fuck. Can't catch a break! I don't have the alloys. Uh, um. That's okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this, though. The AI is, like, a lot more confident now. It used to be, like, uh, at this stage... Uh, even in grand, even on Grand Admiral and whatnot, like I'd just be 
so far surpassing um, all the AI empires, you know what I mean? So this is fine with me. Look, Razor, how about Hive traits, adaptive, fast breeders, uh, strong, unruly, slow learners? Uh, unruly is a really good red pick. I know people are losing their shit and probably going, Oh, that's a terrible idea because uh, Empire Sprawl, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, fuck, man. Just, it's literally like, you know, one or two more jobs, bureaucrat jobs or whatever. Um, per hundred pops or something crazy like that. Not a big deal. And you can get over it in the early game very easily, too. Uh, increased army damage. What else can we activate? How about we do exotic gases as fuel, uh, focusing crystals, volatile reactive armor, and I don't have the gas for exotic gases for shield boost. So let's just sell as many minerals as possible. Uh, buy about 50 of those. Sell all these. Uh, buy a few of those. Sell as much of this as I can. There we go. Alright. Back to our edicts. Uh, not terraforming gases. There we go. Exotic gases for shield boost. Or volatile reactive armor. Focusing crystals. Alright. I think I got everything active that we will need for the foreseeable future. Alright. Uh, we got 10 battleships here. 12 cruisers. Oh yeah. That's the war form. What else can we build? Um, do, 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 do. How much for more battleships, I wonder? Five more battleships. We can currently reinforce one ship. What? That's a crock of crab. Oh, I am out of exotic gases. Shit. Like, out, out. <laughs> Whoops. Let's just buy another 50 then. Okay, there we go. Boop. Uh, strong is civics subsumed well. Strength of legions. Traits are forgivable. Forgivable civics less so. Uh, thankfully, you can swap out those civics at any time, um, and usually by the time you want to is when you have your third civic slot. Strong and strength of legions will make you a more warlike conquering hive. Never <laughs> pick army damage if you want to RP that. Yeah. That's a thing, but like, uh, like Razor said, picking army damage is uh, typically a huge no-no. <laughs> typically. All right, what else can we get for some more ships? Maybe a few more cruisers, hey? Or how about some corvettes? Uh, that'll be six oh nine. And we'll get about like three more cruisers. Sure. Uh, two fleets need eight ships, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll start with that. I have 29 exotic gases left. Uh, let's go ahead and just add, like, two more battleships. Uh, two ships. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that'll do. All right, fuck it. Then go with subspace effects. What the subspace? Ooh, Ganvius warriors sighted. All right. Attempt to contact them. These are probably the screaming ones. Hey, look at that. It is. Shocker. Dubious Abyss and Dub? Oh, no. Dub. Aesthetic is a must for Gestalt slash Hives. What does Aesthetic do again? Uh, habitability and Pop Amenities usage? Yeah. Reducing those amenities is big for a hive. So you could also add the trait that uh, has them producing more amenities, but that's I think that's more of a late game pick, in my opinion. Uh, which one was it? Grand Duchy of Herbert Eberter is what's coming after us. Okay. You don't need naval cap. Yeah, uh, naval cap can always be generated with um, strongholds. All right, mining station here on Bro. Uh, okay, so our energy is looking way better now. No longer freaking negative 600. Um, so that was Sup and Yo that uh, were our energy ones.
I think those were uh, Ra Razor Naughty Dog. I be do believe Naughty Dog was referring to picks if you were like role playing a kind of aggressive warlike hive. Um, Nexus. And this one I can't upgrade you because I don't have the exotic gases. Damn it. Only getting five per month. I'm being too meta. <laughs> Uh, I think we all do that, bro, so no big deal. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, spotting pools. I knew there was a building I wasn't thinking of that we could use. Um, but yeah, if, you, like, if you're thinking meta, then you, we were on the right track, I do believe. Uh, for role-playing an aggressive hive, then absolutely, like, Strength of Legions takes strong... Uh, strength of Legions plus strong... Um, and, uh, maybe not subspace of FAPS, but, uh, is there another Civic that you can take, um, that increases your monthly influence? Nope. Uh, nope. No, no. There used to be one. Subsumed Will might not be too bad of a pick. That would offset the, uh, the unruly trait, but that's a... Not a really good use for a Civic, in my opinion. Hmm. Divided Attention for more Admin Cap? Or Subsumed Will for Reduced Empire Sprawl from Pops? <laughs> I prefer not to min-max. Once you start doing that, then you start picking the same shit over and over, and your empire Empires lose flavor. Um, in, my, in my opinion... Uh, I mean, well, when when you try to when you try to be meta all the time, then yeah, absolutely, you wind up picking uh, the same small selection of stuff all the time. But that's why you don't do meta shit all. That's why you don't meta game all the time, every time. Like I definitely don't do that anymore. I still prefer to. I still strongly prefer to, big time. Uh, just because that's how I have the most fun for whatever weird reason. Man, everybody just wants to go to war with us, or, uh, whatever. It's kind of bullshit, if you ask me. Okay, so, is it the Grand... The Grand Duchy of here is way over in that area. I don't know where they're going to come from, so I should probably find, like, a good little midpoint. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven jumps, so one, two, three, four. Four. Right there in Afshazan is where we will put all of our um, fleets of ships. Let's get these guys there, those guys there, and those guys there. Alright. Yeah, but there are degrees. Some picks are just awful. Yeah, that's that's extremely true. Like, I've, I've said before that uh, I really, there's a lot of bad picks that I too avoid, even when I want to role play. It's just like I can't justify picking that because it's such a terrible pick. Like army damage. Yeah. Maintenance drones. Okay. Spawning pools. By the minute. Now I'm losing a buttload of energy again. What the hell? Moved right back into that slot. Okay, whatever. Alright, let's sell off our minerals yet again. Um, I am going to go ahead and... I'm going to add one, two, three more cruisers. Uh, we can reinforce that. Yep. Slammed into generator world. Let's get some maintenance, maintenance drones. Very good. Okay, so I'd say the fleets are ready. One, two, three jumps to Damien, and then one, two, three, four. Damn. Okay, so there's no midpoint. My bad. I thought there was. One, two, three, four. Oh, what? Where? Oh shit! 
Oh, they cheated. I came through the Algate, the sons of bitches. <laughs> Damn it. I should have seen that coming. I don't know who, I don't know who has access to the L gate though. Shit. Uh Okay, so these two these two habitats have a lot of open jobs. Uh who is that in the L gate anyways? The Blessed Zurite Confederacy. But that's not who declared war on us. Oh. Is it because Oh, shit, it's the whole Federation that's at, at war with us. Well, that's not good. At war with League of Tabaras, Herbert of Rieberder. That's okay. Um, yeah, the United Galactic Powers are at war with us. Oh, shit. <laughs> they cheated. You're damn right they cheated! Alright, well, uh... Get the fleets moving. We're gonna we're gonna have to do what we can. They only it was only one thirty five k fleet that I saw there, so there's probably a lot more fleets on the way. That that seemed too small, way too small. It really did. Shit just got real. Yep, this is fine. <laughs> Rip us again. Yep. And, oh, we go to the next mirror universe. <laughs> Honestly, I'm thinking if we lose here, then I'm just going to say, fuck it, we'll make a new empire next time. It's too bad, because um, the little pop exploit bullshit that I was doing uh, was kind of fun. And it, and it can be quite effective. I probably should have moved the transports, hey? Attack. Don't fly into them, you dinglings! Rolling away from enemy fleet. <sighs> Y'all ain't very bright, are you? Science ship under attack. Science ship destroyed. Oh, and we're getting attacked for... Damn it, I was just there. Shit. Uh, I only managed to lose twice with exploits. Well, to be fair, the first time around, I wasn't really doing it. The second time around, I definitely was. And I still got my ass kicked. Holy shit, rain is cold on fresh shaved head. Uh, yeah. I could have told you that, JB. I found that one out the hard way. That was fun. Um, okay. Starbase is holding them off a little bit, but, uh, need to, uh, need to get the fleets there. ASAP. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, split these all up. Mat, 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 mat. There we go. And let's just tell them to attack. Go. They're getting, they're, they're getting there, but I need the Corvettes to uh, draw some fire or something and distract them. Give them time for the cruisers to arrive, start doing some damage, and then the battleships will show up and really wreck, wreck some shop. Uh, let's see, Darab Station. Oh, that's the Corvette. Oh, they took it. Shit. Ran to the shed and still got hit. Oh, GG. Strong tactics. Okay... You guys getting there soon? Kind of. Alright, you know what? I don't want them split up that badly. That's a little too much. I should have definitely done a kind of multi-class fleet where we split some uh, split some Corvettes. Uh, oh my god, hello! What do we got here? Wanna fight? This almost looks like they have a Titan in here. I can't tell though. I don't think so. Uh 
trying to see. Hello? I'm going to say no, they don't. But, uh, goddamn, that's a, uh, quite the combined arms fleet right there. They're coming over here into this area. All right, fuck it. We're, we're going to travel up this way. Can they get to that spot before those other guys come through? I don't think so. Alright, let's move back to Derep. We want to get our starbase back. Colony formed. Rain is worse than snow by far. Hey, if you say so. Okay, here comes their fleet. Escape. Rolling away oh, shit. Enemy fleet. Run, regroup. Hey, transports, you guys need to get the fuck out of there. Rolling away from enemy fleet. This will be the second time they got, get caught with their pants down. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's three, four, five, uh, two, three, four, excuse me. More declared. Again? Oh, hey! This might. This might pan out for us if the Kemplar Mandate kicks the crap out of these, out of these other guys in this Federation. Gets us, gets, gets them to, uh, you know, GTFO out of our territory or something. This could go well. Or at least better, I should say. Alright, now, uh, where are these guys going? Those sons of bitches are running away, really? Returning to terminal egress, whatever, fuck you. Alright, let's head back over here. We're going to engage this combined force head on because... Fuck it. Still in our territory, so we get a 40% fire rate bonus. Start reinforcing a bit now. Uh, I don't have too much, but uh, I suppose we can. Let's add another battleship, eh? Or wait a minute. What am I doing? All things are being reinforced. Okay, cool. And that's uh, okay. I'll add a couple cruisers. 1653. Maybe we can add one more Corvette. Uh, yep. There we go. That's it. Colony Come on, I want my ships to engage somebody. They're all just going to escape. Shell. Yeah, it looks like some of them are retreating in order to uh, fend off their new their new aggressor. Oop, did we get him? Nope, that was the starbase. Damn it. Maybe I need to just send in the Corvettes or something to get their attention. Damn it. Okay. Alright, this ain't really working out. Need this black hole system back, that's for sure. I'll have to pull back and deal with the incursions in the south, get that territory back as well. Boop, boop. There we go, get some energy back. Okay, 
mining station there we go mining drones and yeah that'll do it Research and they're gone damn it Plant superconductivity four definitely want that Okay, that zone's ours again, and now let's go ahead and uh, send our teams over to here. The real question is, do they have anybody in terminal egress? I don't think so. They got a couple people down here. Ooh, shit. So that's where they went. I'm just going to merge my corvettes and my battleships. Oh, I paused the game. When did I do that? No wonder everything's taking so long. Go over here and merge. Okay, now you guys can totes my goats. Keep that. Move this guy? Probably not. Okay, you guys have the gale speed, that's fine, that's what I want. It is time to start engaging the enemy. Just chase these fuckers down, it's starting to piss me off. going to use uh, terminal egress. Zip in and get behind them, I think. Oh, there's another enemy fleet here. Can we engage them? Kind of. Oh, hello. We caught them with their pants down. Sure are losing a lot of Corvettes. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. We only lost three. And then they fucked off. Of course you did. We got 37 of their Corvettes, but that's it. We didn't just we didn't destroy any battleships. Ah, that makes me a sad camper. Alright. I need to keep following these dudes. What are you fighting? Oh, shit. I have a lone Corvette that's about to get decimated. Damn it. All right. Destroyed. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, they're split up a little bit, so we have a much better chance now. Might, might be able to take out this whole fleet, or at least get them to GTFO from our territory. Okay. Where'd those other fleets go? Did they? No, they did an emergency FTL. They're right there. Ain't gotta take those dudes out. Forty three Corvettes, yikes. No, I think this is gonna do us in. This is definitely a losing battle right now. 
What the hell happened to Mo? What the hell happened, Moby? Tisk tisk. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was not the Jolly Rancher. Well, maybe we're okay. There we go. Let's watch the chaos unfold, shall we? Lithoid on Lithoid. It looks so funny when the ships do like a, a 180 or a 360 to attack a different target. <laughs> They're definitely using strike craft, I can see that. Knew he should have gone with Smarties. <laughs> and we still have a contingent of battleships. Hanging in there. Oh, we got them all. Nice. Okay, so... We destroyed very little of their shit. Apparently. Oh, no, never mind. We destroyed quite a bit. Not as much as I would have liked. And we took some heavy losses. All right. get this Rochelle system back, yo. Alright, where are these enemy ships? Oh, they're way down there. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, that's okay. I uh, need to get back to uh, managing our economy a little bit. Uh, we have some pops that are in dire need of resettlement. And let's resettle this one here. And that leaves uh, Meteor Mash. One, two, three, four. And then Rock Place for pops and stuff. Five, six, seven, eight. And Pop Rocks. 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. Yo. Get together 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 5, 6, 7, 8. And last one. 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. That should do it. We, have, we should have a much better output of energy now with all these tech drones. Drop an energy nexus down there, too. Alright. Looking good, looking good. We still got about an hour left in the stream, too. So, we got a chance here. Uh, extraction patterns four. Oh, these sons of bitches. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Fleet, honestly. Uh, oh yeah, I can't merge the stupid war form. All right, let's just get everybody to merge. And gale speed. Hmm. Aggressive is good too, but let's stick with gale speed. Make them nice and fast. Okay. Oh no, you are not taking Eras from me. There's too much valuable shit in there. We've got another rivalry cropping up, naturally. One f one fleet needs 15 ships. We can currently afford three. Oh joy. Okay, well, let's get you to just kind of hang out over here. We 
Where's this guy? Okay. And what did we just take out? Probably the star base. Yep. Okay, so we're cool there. Fleet management procedures. Uh, Non-aggression pact invitation. Don't care about that. Admiralty support staff. Yes, please. All these stellar rectrixes, eh? Okay. And there was, there was another battle, probably another outpost. Oh, maybe not. We got a battleship this time, hell yeah. Once you're done there, let's move to the Damien system and get that back. I thought I told you transport ships to get back to the home system. These the uh, no, these are somebody else altogether. Hang on a second. Oh, that's the Grand Duchy. These must be Federation fleets, eh? No, they're not. They don't look like it. Never mind. Where? Which? Which? Uh, I thought these guys were using the the Lithoid ship set. Are they not? Oh, they're not. Okay. Uh. Okay. It's these dudes. Fair enough. Can't tell the difference between my rocks and my birds, apparently. Okay, so I think once I grab Damien, I'm going to have to uh, get my fleets to zip back through the L gates. And you wonder why they attack you. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Probably get my guys to go back through the L gate and into that black hole yet again. It's uh, it's it's so freaking... So freaking powerful and handy having control of that um, L gate. Where do they need to go in order to get repairs? Oh, way over there. Great. Just we'll go ahead and move back to here for now. Okay. The hegemony of Nevedral is closing borders again. I don't care right now. As you can see, I'm a little bit, a little bit busy with some other shite. Okay, so we lost this system here. This was two of our uh, pop growth planets. Lithoid voice is full of dad jokes, and I love it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's easily the best part of the Lithoid species pack. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? No jobs open again. If I do a hive war, and there will be definitely zero jobs. So I don't need the housing. Maybe I just do a. I don't know, I'll figure it out later. Whoa. Those are some fleets. Where did our guys go? We really got that badly beat up? Son of a bitch. Aside from the ships, yes. Ah, the ships are pretty cool. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I 
think it's safe to say that uh, we're not getting out of this one. That's too bad. Oh well, live and learn, right? Um, what can I do on this world? Oh well, if we, if we get beat up, I guess that uh, that might give us enough time to uh, start a new uh, start a, like create our, our next empire. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what time it is. If it's uh, if there's only about a half hour left, I might just call it a night and be like, ah, that's too bad. Well, we'll try again next week. <laughs> see what happens here. Yeah, I definitely didn't want our fleet trying to take on... Uh, what was it? Three of theirs at the same time? Oh, excuse me. Jeez, I don't know why I'm so sleepy. I gotta admit, I'm kind of curious. How are we pops wise compared to everybody else? Grand Duchy of here. Oh my god, these guys have 1,100 pops. <laughs> uh, these guys only have 434. Where are these dudes, anyways? How is it that these guys have that much territory and yet only 400 total pops? That's messed up. Roblox, Roblox, oof, played at quarter speed. Yeah. Oof! <laughs> Um, oh well, it's all good. Boy, I gotta admit, I still have a lot of things to uh, figure out in this new version myself. But that's okay. Uh, let's see, are we done on this world yet? There's still four pops that are being purged. This is taking too long! Okay, and the guy mining station. What are we gonna build here? Maybe just another, uh. Synaptic nodes? Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I thought that, like, the, the war being declared from this other guy would, like get them to detract some of their forces away from beating the shit out of me and actually like, uh, you know, defend their own territory or something, but uh, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> I have no defense armies. That's not a good sign. Because that was the... Uh, did they, not, did they not declare war on each other? Hang on a second. That was the Kemplar Mandate, and they declared war on the... Yeah. They totally did. The Totsma Goats did declare war on the guys that we are at war with, so... What's the problem here? I mean, aside from the fact that they're on the other side of the galaxy from them, that's probably uh, not... Um, I'm sorry, that's probably a factor as to why they're not doing a damn thing. It said that what? Where'd all their ships go? Oh, there they are. What are you doing now? Uh, where are you going? Returning to Voon Station. No, you're not. Okay, which uh, which world was it that we started getting some uh, alloy foundries on this one? Okay, so we're still pretty okay for amenities. Uh, let's go ahead and build a few more. You know, I'm genuinely curious though. What do these guys have for fleet set up? Uh, wow, that's a pretty mixed bag. Gauss cannon, plasma cannon on their destroyers. And then these guys. Point defense, plasma cannon, and phase disruptor. 
Good thing we don't use missiles, I suppose. That's quite a lot of uh, point defense that they have, seeing as how every single one of their corvettes has it. Uh, phase disruptor, gamma laser, neutron, phase disruptor, plasma, phase disruptor. Lots of anti-armor. Lots of anti-armor. And how about their battleships? Whoa, hello, neutron launchers. There's no way this is all of them. Medium phase disruptor and medium gamma laser. Uh, there's this one. Focused arc emitter, neutron, phase disruptor, gamma laser. Yikes. Uh, these are all different designs. Like, just about every single one. You can tell because the, the damn ships look look different. You're looking right at them. You know? You can tell that, that, that it's like, dude, you got three different designs. Why are they the same design name? That's not confusing at all. One of the, on the plus side, you're not in an energy credit hole anymore. I know. We got our energy back in the green, folks. We only had to lose 60% um, of our fleet. But hey, things are looking good. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and move a drone here. There we go. We'd, we'd probably still be in the green even just a teeny tiny tad uh, because we were creating a lot of tech drones uh, in these two in these two habitat stations. Uh, I'm producing 251 there and what about this one? 251 there as well so that's not too too bad. Ooh. All right. Um, sell some of those. Oops. There we go. It's okay. Um, a lot of people get upset when they get the when they're getting their butt kicked in Stellaris and get all mad and stuff. I'm losing. Um, you know, honestly, losing is part of the game. Getting your butt kicked is part of the game. Shit happens, right? Um, damn. Can't afford jack shit for reinforcements, can we? <laughs> this is really, really bad. That's all good. Anyways, yeah, I remember, like, my first couple of times, or not couple times, but my first several times playing uh, Stellaris, like, I, I kept lowering the difficulty over and over. Uh, until I found one that I, well, I was just, a, I was eventually just said, you know what, I'm just going to put it on the easiest difficulty so that I have time to figure out what the hell I'm doing, <laughs> right? So it took a while, but uh, you get it eventually. Let's see here. Now, obviously, I'm no freaking grandmaster at this game myself, uh, which is fine, but I, I like, to, I do like to learn. Uh, let's see. What do we want to... I don't know what I want to do here. Let's go ahead and start plopping down some strongholds, shall we? We have the housing and amenities um, for that, which is good. We just need to make some jobs, I think. Oh, wait. That won't be enough, will it? I'll have to upgrade that. Shoot. Uh, alloy foundries, then? Yeah, maybe alloy foundries would be better. Let's do an alloy foundry, and then we can upgrade it. Yes. Are you guys leaving, or what? Oh no, these guys are coming back for more! What the shit? The lithoids have returned. They're going to try and land some peeps on our stuff. Get out of here. No siree. Not on my watch. Is it really faster for you to do that? It doesn't seem like it would be, but uh, what do I know? One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. Whatever. 
Kumpooper knows best, I guess. Boop. And let's sell some food. Boop. And how about a few rare crystals? Damn, we have a lot of those. Neat, neat, neat. And build 50 of those. And then we can buy a bunch of alloys. Now we're talking. And another 5,000 of these. Shit. Oh, well. Uh, 100 of those. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, reinforce a few. Oh, here come the fleets again, I guess. Maybe. There's definitely a fleet there. Let's go pick some fights, shall we? Let's pick us some low-hanging fruit. Research <laughs> complete. Uh, all right, extraction patterns four. Let's grab assembly algorithms three, shall we? Very good. The amount of alloys we've dumped into fleet, we definitely could have uh, started the next section of the science nexus easily. Oh my goodness. Hello. Yowza. That's where their big boys went, I guess. How do you have your ships constructed again? I'm curious. A small price to pay for salvation. Yeah. Oh my god. These guys are using UV lasers and regular disruptors. What the f... Okay. Do I really have them that outpaced in technology? There's no way. I guess that doesn't really matter when uh, they have such overwhelming numbers. Hey, eh? Focused arc emitter and nothing but kinetic artillery. Wow. Except for this one for some reason. It's really interesting how the computer does like all the... What the fuck am I looking at here? Jeez. It's really interesting how the computer like mix, mix and matches mixes and matches these ridiculous uh, ship designs all over the place. But hey, talk talk about like balanced setups. I mean, geez, it does the job, yeah. Those look so cool. Landing some troops on my colonies? More than likely. Alright, what do we got going on here? Blast them into oblivion. Fuck them up! Fuck them up! Fuck them up! Fuck them up! <laughs> the AI designs ships like a really hard start on white plaster. <laughs> Like a really hard shard on white plaster. Yeah, it works, but it still looks like shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, analogy established. Thank you, JB. Kind of wish I never heard that. Um... Uh, yeah, we beat them up over there a little bit. And they are landing troops. We will not fend them off whatsoever because look at that. They have, what are these? Assault army, assault army, assault army, assault army. And these are Psy warriors? Let's see. Psionic army, yep. Good old psionic armies. Hey, like Imperial Guard Warhammer 40k players say, one flashlight doesn't do diddly, but 5,000 flashlights is a whole lot of diddly. <laughs> Alright. What are they attacking again? Army damage is a wasted civic. Uh, yeah. Still true. He says as his planets are invaded. 
I mean, it's not like they're going to help me, dude, when, when I'm outnumbered the way I am already. <laughs> Or let me rephrase that. It's not like they're going to save me when I am still outnumbered the way I am. Army damage itself is never the difference maker. Like, number of armies. Pfft. Done. Uh, let's see here. It, it is almost poetic, though, you have to admit. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. All right, let's see. If we can just, like... If their bigger ships get annihilated, we should be able to win this fight. But I don't think that's going to be the case, because we're losing... Yeah, we have, like, nothing left, so... <sighs> Son of a bitch. Well, shiitake mushrooms. That sucked. And the last defense army. And like a fart in the wind. <laughs> Alright, there goes that planet. Son of a bitch. Alright. What do we got here? Uh... I'm going to resettle you guys, too. Um, yeah, what over here? Sure, why not? What's this? High war exhaustion, eh? Can we surrender? There you go. <laughs> the worst possible outcome. And we lost. That's too bad. That's okay. <sighs> That's okay. Shit happens. Um, where is our thingy? <laughs> we did so badly, we're not even on the, on the scoreboard list, I guess, hey? <laughs> That's all right. Um, your empire has been destroyed. You can choose to continue the game as an observer. So that that is a thing. I do like using the uh, observer mode. It is pretty cool. Problem is, you just can't really do anything with the hide all UI function, you kind of just got to look at what you want to look at and then hit the button. Why is this a question mark? It's weird. Um, yeah, they're, they're all question marks. Okay. Um, what can we look at? Hang on. Contacts. Uh, freed dragons. Oh. It'd be nice to find those. Uh, can, we can, cannot communicate, but we can look at. There we go. There's Zeracor. What's up, Zeracor? How you doing? Got a pretty cool space station thingy. Hey, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. This is the station of Zeracor. It looks ex it looks strikingly similar to the station that Zenonian uses to broadcast their galactic news network. <laughs> Anyways, all right, well, we got our ass kicked the second time, but that's okay. Uh, pretty, really just my own fault. Uh, be ashamed if someone shit on it. <laughs> oh, man. You and your fantasies, dude. There's supposed to be a list of empires in the outliner. Um, yeah, it's okay. I probably, I probably just didn't, uh, didn't notice, but it's all good. Uh, folks, I'm going to think that's going to be it tonight. We'll start a new game next week, uh, creating a new empire on the Tuesday there. I know I'm ch cutting it down a little early. Uh, there's still about a half hour left, but I don't really think uh, it's a good use of time to use the last half hour of the stream to build a new empire. I want to do that at the beginning of the next stream uh, when we start a brand new game. Then you can click on one and see their view of the galaxy. Uh, uh, it's been a while since I've been in been in observer mode, so I don't think I, I just don't think I noticed that. I'm pretty sure the last time I used observer mode was in like version 1.7. Good stream, Moby. Sorry for your loss. I'll send flowers. That's all good stuff happens. Semper Buffo, thanks for coming by tonight, buddy. Um, so yeah, uh, if I just so and as you can see, you know, win some, lose some. Even I'm not uh, 
that great at this game, but it, uh, but it's all good. I still enjoy playing it. I still enjoy trying to teach uh, newer players about it. And I still enjoy I still enjoy trying to find out like the most meta shit you can do. You know, be good. Don't do anything I would do. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, just a little bit early there. Um, so I'll get this downloaded, start rendering it. Um, and yeah, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed watching me get my ass handed to me, do give the do uh, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, going "Ha ha, you suck, Donkey Dick Moby," and uh, or you know just whatever's on your mind. It really helps me out. Um, and uh, as I said previously, don't forget to uh, shortlist JB. <laughs> Thanks, Darby. You have a good one, buddy. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon down there in New Zealand, buddy. Um, yeah um back to those of you watching on youtube don't don't forget to check out the links in the description below as i mentioned there is uh one for the official stellaris discord where you can become part of the greater stellaris community uh there's a big section for us console edition players to talk about the game with each other uh even ask questions and set up multiplayer matches if you want it's a very large and active discord so if you want to be part of uh uh, part of a community where there is always talks going on every day, uh, that's the place to be and then there's also links to my own personal stuff you'll find one to my Twitch channel which I stream this off of, give me a follow, currently streaming four days a week and uh, two of those uh, two of those nights guaranteed to stream some Stellaris console edition so you can watch me get my buck, butt kicked again um so pop on in and see what I'm playing. Uh, you'll find a, a link to my Twitter feed. Give me a follow there. It's a great way to keep in touch with me. And I post important announcements all the time. Last but not least, there is a link to my own personal uh, Discord channel for fans of my content to freely join. It's not necessary whatsoever, but if you want to take part in the community events that I mentioned uh, at the start of the video, uh, th that is the place to be. And you can also talk about Stellaris Console Edition with anybody in that Discord as well. as pretty much everybody who joined uh, about all oh, 160 members, 170 members joined because of my Stellaris Console Edition content. So if you want another place to talk about the game with other players uh, that's not as uh, large and active as the official Stellaris Discord, then feel free to join me in my own Discord. Uh, and last but not least, the goal for 2021 is to try to have this channel hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of December. So the best things you can do yourself are, of course, subscribe to the channel for more content in the future and... Uh, uh, share this content with any friends or colleagues who you think might be interested in um, the content I produce or the games that I play. Um, if you know anybody who uh, would be interested in Stellaris, uh, send them my way. I'll try to get give them a good impression of the game. Or if you have uh, some friends or colleagues who are new to the game, um, I can definitely help out with uh, teaching them how to play. And uh, last but not least, a big thank you to everybody who came by uh, watching me get my ass handed to me tonight uh, live. Naughty Dog, Razor, Awesome Sheep, Darby, Harshly TV, Semper Buffo. Um, who else came in? JB, as always. Elk, good to see you, buddy. Um, Harshly, you were here as well for, for a minute. Fat Jeff, thanks for dropping in. RC guy, hopefully I'll see you again. Uh, next week and I think that was everybody so hopefully I'll see a bunch of you for the stream next week we'll start a new game in Stellaris on the Tuesday of course and uh, join me at the start of the stream we will create a new empire uh, again uh, together so until then um, yeah have a great weekend uh, we'll be back in Age of Wonders Planet Fall uh, on Monday, which will be the next stream. So drop on by and uh, see if we can fend off the Void Bringers. All right, well, that's it for me. Thanks, Awesome Sheep. You have a good one as well. And the rest of you have a great weekend. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everybody.